Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever part of the world you're at. Uh, we're at Hall 8, and in this hall is possibly the strongest collection of e-bike technology in the world at this very moment. Yes, it's day one of Eurobike. What's ahead of us, we don't know, so join us for a tour. Okay, you guys want to know about some new e-bikes. This is Semino from Eastern China, 160 mil travel, 29 inch wheels. Uh, the Bafang M600 motor in there, which is 85 newton meters and an 840 watt hour battery. Um, some really cool products on here. We've got Migura brakes, we've got RockShox fork. Price-wise, okay, so we're looking at $2,800 for the complete bike, but that's a minimum order of 20. Big news from Halifax in the north of England. Orange bikes, even though I've just been abused by uh, the owner of the company. That's all good, folks. Um, right, what have we got? Now, this bike is said to be so wholly from Europe. Um, we've got Hope wheels, got pedals from Scotland. We've got Hope brakes, frame obviously made in Halifax. Um, seat dropper, Hope handlebars, and the big news, folks, you might see, is the combined motor gearbox on this bike. And this is from a company called Intradrive, based in Edinburgh. I'm super excited about this motor. It uh, weighs in at 4.8 kilos, 80 newton meters of torque. Uh, it sounds super quiet. It's got belt drive, obviously, which means less, you know, very little weight on the back wheel there. Um, did I mention 29, 27.5 mix, 160, 150 travel? Um, do you know what I'm thinking? Now, hold on a minute, folks. Uh, there's actually a S Rock Shocks fork and shock on this bike so i think i mean to have a word with uh, with the owners of the company but i'm sure you'll agree phase mx is a stunning looking bike i'm a big fan of orange great geometry great sizing uh, and yeah great future in terms of this bike i think i've just had a chat with luca from ollie motors which is based uh, in modena in italy and some very interesting uh, stories going on here now in front of me there's two motors, we've got the Edge, they're both Edge motors, one is a all new Bosch fixing, so for example if you've got a Bosch bike and you want a new motor, this will actually fit in it, and over here we've got the Shimano equivalent. Now what's interesting is, is Luke has been telling me that he's worked on this by himself and they're after reliability in their motors, but more than that he's actually done some time runs and he finds that his motor 90 newton meters is around about 15 percent faster than the equivalent shimano and bosch systems i mean these are words that lucas says to me but I, I i take it for sure uh but i think this is really interesting um we've got a bike over here which has got uh the edge motor fitted to it it's a it's chinese frame but i'm going to go in search of some bikes with these motors i think this is really interesting news and it seems to me that this company is definitely on the move well, the biggest news from Bosch is, of course, ABS. And I'd just like to remind you, we've got a full video uh, on EMBN about what it comprises of and exactly how it works. And I have to tell you, it really is revolutionary. It will change the way you ride forever. And it just, it simply means that on such things as slippery banks and off cambers and gravel grounds, you, 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 your body position isn't compromised, but it's a difficult, difficult thing to, to communicate verbally. You simply have to go and ride it to see that it does actually work. So, many of you have been crying out for that uh, low-key Bosch approach on the handlebar for many years. And finally, here it is, and you've now got two options. You can either have the mini remote, or you can actually run just the system controller on the top of your down tube there. And uh, I'm sure most of you, it'll be a welcome move in the right direction. And I'm expecting to see many, many butt bikes with this uh, on them from 2023 onwards. So, let's go and have a look for some. MV Augusta from Northern Milan. Now my colleague Louis behind the camera probably thinking who the hell are MV Augusta? Well probably one of the most famous motorcycle brands in the world. Uh, world champions such as Giacomo Agostini from the 1970s. But this is actually the first really seriously new thing that I've seen here at Durabike and it's quite a stunner. 180 mil travel in Durabike and not only is, is it the first new bike I've seen today, it's also the first one I've seen which is sporting the new Bosch system controller which is mounted on the top of the down tube and also the mini remote which uh, we saw a few days ago at the Bosch launch where they launched the new ABS system. Super discreet and I think this does mark um, 
beginning of a new era for, for Bosch when it comes down to the way that they show the, the metrics on the bike. But on this bike, you've actually got a Kiox display as well. So you've got all three. Um, what have we got? Obviously, it's top end components. We've got a race face uh, wheel set. We've got SRAM Access. We've got Fox 38. We've got a Coil Shock. We've got a Fox Transfer Seat Dropper. We've obviously got the Proxima Seat from Italy. A 29 inch wheels and uh, prices on this bike. Now, this is all new. I want to sit down. 9,000 to 15,000 euros is the price on this bike. Now, the biggest news today, this week, this year, actually the biggest news for probably 25 years, I'll say it again, 25 years, has been ABS braking on e-mounted bikes. Now, um, a few of you guys uh, mentioned in some of the comments when we did the ABS video earlier this week that we don't need it. Let me tell you, it is game changing. When you ride steep banks, wet banks, roots, stuff which you get out of shape on, this system definitely works. I put it down there next to suspension in terms of the, um, the performance gains on e-mounted bikes, or actually performance gains on off-road mountain bikes in the past 25 years. So we've now got it on um, this Q bike. We're on the Magura stand. Remember, Magura are the manufacturers of the product. So an interesting chat actually, and the reason they don't do the MT5 or MT7 levers is the fact that you need more oil, and more oil flow into that caliper with the ABS system. So there's now 12 mil pistons on this as opposed to the 10 mil ones on uh, the MT7 and MT5. So here's the system, traditional lever. That comes down into the caliper. Leader of the caliper into the black box, black box to the rear, which controls two things, sliding on the front wheel and rear wheel lift. So two modes, all road, forget about that on mountain bikes. It's the trail mode, which really is the game changer. That'll slow you down on a pin. I swear to God, it's amazing. You might have seen on the channel a few days ago, the all new Trek Fuel EXE. It certainly marks the beginning of a new era for e-mounted bikes, a mid-assist. Uh, and the heart of that bike is, of course, the TQ HPR 50 motor. Uh, one of the lightest, smallest, and most importantly, quietest motors in the world. Actually, when you're riding this motor, you can, you can barely detect any sound coming from it. Certainly the sound of your heart or your tires, or the birds in the trees or the leaves in the trees are going to make more noise than this motor. Um, 1.85 kilos, but as you can see, it's definitely all there. And you can see the, the craftsmanship and the quality that goes into this motor is quite outstanding. Great to see the actual e-bike system of that Trek Fuel EXE. The motor, the 360 watt hour battery. I mean, look how dinky that is. Uh, but more than that, the uh, integrated display, which goes on the top tube, so easy to use. And the great part about that is you can actually see the numbers as you're riding the bike. A lot of these displays you see on the market, you know, you can't see them, especially if you're slightly older. And finally, one thing is the remote. The remote is very stealth and the most important thing, it's really, really easy to use. You might have seen this riding the Trek Fuel EXE in the Baja color, that yellow, kind of sandy, very nice color. But uh, my eye has now been taken by this bike. This is actually the bike of John Riley, one of the key people behind uh, the Fuel EXE. And it's a Project One color, but what I really like about it is the fact that we've got this big logo on the down tube, that traditional track look. One of the things we can see on this bike is the extra range battery. And as I mentioned, when we rode the track bike is the fact that the port which you plug into is, is located top of the down tube there, totally out the way, out the way from weather, out the way from elements, which is, and it's common sense, right? But so many people forget to do that. We saw the Shimano driven uh, Bull Sonic Evo EN SL Daytona in Eurobike last year. Particularly great looking bike at a Euro short of 14,000. 750 watt hour battery. Um, like I said, with the intense suspension front and rear, full access. But it's this bike over here actually, which is the one I want to draw your attention to. This is the Sonic Evo AM Team, 29, 27.5. Uh, it's, it's called a heavy meadow green. It's lovely. Um, Schwalbe tires, lovely color lyric fork up there, 150 mil travel. It is another one of these bikes which features the new uh, system controller on the top tube from from Bosch, which was launched only a couple of days ago. Plus, of course, the remote. On this bike, they've gone for super stealth. They've gone for just the mini remote and the 
system controller. Um, TRP brakes, 220 mil disc up front, but the motor, it's all hidden down here. We've got a nice kind of bash guard, but there's definitely something going on here, folks, definitely. Okay, so I have been in search of highlights from Eurobike day one, and I think for me it goes in the form of the rock machine from the Czech Republic. Um, this is a split spine bike. This is actually a, a prototype, 3D printed, um, but the detail on it is very cool. So we've got a motor battery, which I can't talk about because it's still in prototype form. Uh, it's got a flip chip on there, which turns it from 140 to 160 to 180 travel. Two sizes, so these guys think that you only need two sizes of e-mounted bike kind of agree with them in, 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 in to a certain extent because I think you can adjust size via the cockpit there. Um, coil shock in the back, looks like good slack head angle, low bottom brackets, uh, chain stay. I'll, I'll let you guys know the, the details on that in a future show but um, very very cool looking bike. And here we have the 10 and 11 speed Shimano Link Glide chains, cassettes, and derailers which enable you to run that free shift and auto shift technology. All we need to do now is uh, see some bikes with the products on it. Some new displays, oh yes, displays for the Shimano EP8. Um, there's a couple of nice ones you have to say. Look at that one there. I can see one, two, this is new, I haven't seen that before. Uh, but folks, main news is obviously the Shimano EP6 motor. So we've got here a direct comparison between the existing EP8 and the EP6. So in terms of the weight, EP8, EP6, I mean, there's, folks, there's not much in it really. But obviously uh, the key news about EP6 is it's a much more affordable unit. So looking forward to seeing some e-mounted bikes here at Eurobike with that new unit fitted. So here we have a, a Shimano DI2 fully equipped bike. This is an unbadged Merida E140. I want to draw your attention to a few of the component parts which we looked at a second ago. Um, first of all is the remote control. There's definitely a war going on at the minute when it comes to remote controls. This is yet another super, super low key uh, unit from Shimano. It's got uh, the modes on there, obviously, and the battery. It's got the light and obviously the walk assist on there as well very very low key and I was clicking through the DI2 shifter earlier it's got a really positive feel to it you know it's not it's it's substantial I really like it you can hear the let me give you a click one on here got love haven't you uh, and a new display on the handlebar here and a new on off switch this is actually the XT system it's got the new Shimano EP801 motor um, and yeah, I mean, what can I say? All I can say is I'm looking forward to having a spin out on one of these bikes. Right, I'll put my Italian handbag on the floor and talk about a French bike, with the French motor and French componentry on it. This is from Annecy. It's a brand called Atelier. The brand's called Atelier. Atelier Heritage Bike. The brand is actually called, sorry? Atelier Heritage Bike. See, I wanted to get the pronunciation right. Sorry, what was your name? Benedict. Benedict, thanks. So, Atelier Heritage Bike in Welsh. What have we got? Well, 150 mil travel front and rear, Valeo motor from Lyon, 130 newton meters, combined motor and gearbox, which means obviously there's no derailleur on the back. And uh, close to my heart, actually, we've got some boss suspension on there from Toulouse in France. Brake wise, we've got Magura MT7s. We've got the Valeo uh, display and uh, controller on the handlebar here all made in France. So we've got the front triangle, which is made of carbon in France, rear triangle, aluminium, again in front of France. 27.5 wheels and uh, folks, oh, look at that bash plate. Oh, I like that. Well, that's neat. That's neat. Well, what a day, day one uh, from Eurobike. Uh, lots of new stuff, obviously dominated by the big news from Shimano Water Shift and obviously ABS braking from Bosch. Now, earlier on in the video, I did say that this bike actually wasn't all from Europe, but I eat my words because they've actually got the intend fork, which I'm really eager to ride, and obviously the shock, which makes this an all European bike. So I think a fitting end from day one at Eurobike. Thanks for joining us, folks. Join us tomorrow for some more tech.